Families of state prison inmates jammed a hearing at the state house today to push for a bill to lower some prison sentences. So the bill is aimed at no parole offenses that require inmates to stay longer in prison. But could this put your family in danger? Capitol reporter Robert Kittle reports. Families of state prison inmates say current sentencing laws are too harsh and take away any hope some inmates have. They filled a House subcommittee hearing on a bill that would lower the mandatory minimum sentences on some violent crimes. State lawmakers passed a law back in 1996 requiring certain violent criminals to serve at least 85% of their sentences. This bill would lower that to 65%. Cindy Quattlebaum's son Barry is serving one of those sentences for a fatal DUI. She says the law has made prisons worse. According to Barry, the 85% is interpreted within the prison culture as license to misbehave. Mr. John Osmond, past director of the Department of Corrections, wisely said, if you take away all hope from men, they act like men with no hope. Supporters of the bill say 65% of a sentence still gives inmates plenty of time to reform and also gives them hope. But Solicitor Barry Barnett says this bill would be dangerous because the inmates affected are serving time for crimes like rape and manslaughter. And these people are guilty. That's the thing. They need to serve their time. They need to, and it's about public safety. It's a situation. We can't have this kind of crime occurring throughout South Carolina. What would you say to people concerned about public safety? Can he predict the future? Can he? He doesn't know that. None of us know that. Supporters say the bill would also save taxpayers money by having fewer people in prison. The House subcommittee did not take action on the bill, but will take it up again. In Columbia, Robert Kittle, 7 News. There's another obstacle in this bill. It's facing the May 1st crossover deadline when a bill has to have passed in either the House or Senate to have a chance of passing this year.